Just a belt, champ. Just a belt. Woo! Pretty good, huh? Good. Come on, what's up, Jay? circle in wrestling. And it's always what comes around goes around. We have the guy who was the first showcase heavyweight champion and the longest reigning showcase heavyweight champion. 22 months. The first showcase tag team champion. Then of course the first tag team to hold that belt twice. And now you're on your second heavyweight title reign. So you know right after you won that belt I'm thinking this could be the longest title reign ever. Because when you held it last time, it took a giant named Mike Nice to take that belt away from you. And it took him 22 months to get that belt. And right now, when I see the contenders lining up, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be the most exciting time in Showcase Pro Wrestling. That's right, one socket, right? This is the air SPW, huh? Yeah! That's right. John, I completely agree with you. The longest reigning champion in SPW history. You know what, John? I think I'm going to go and break that record of 22 previous months. What do you think, Winsocket? Yeah. But you know, I should be happy, right? Yeah. I should be ecstatic right now. Finally taking the SPW championship away from Buck Nasty. Woo. A man that didn't represent this company with respect. You notice that man never came out to the ring with the belt proudly around his waist. It didn't fit! Yeah, maybe it didn't fit too, but you could have bought an extender for that. But hey, one socket. One thing I can promise you, each and every single one of you, that I will represent SPW with all my heart and all my soul. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. Because the only thing we have left in this life, John, is our name, right? And what's up, it? How's Nicholas Knight's name, huh? Nice. I know, that's okay. But back to this, right? Happiest night of my life, John. You should be ecstatic. What happens? Cargill Vincent makes his return. He turns his back on his longest friend in this business today. <clears throat> I've been here in SPW for a over 11 years. Cargill, I've seen where you started, brother. I've seen where you've taken SPW to all the new heights. SPW champion, SPW tag team champion, a man that had respect. All of a sudden, I'm in the corner again, punched with left and rights from 29 other guys in the Battle Royal, John. Then all of a sudden, I hear, and the next entry, Cargill Vinton. Let me tell you, I think I was more excited because he didn't tell anyone out back that he was coming. Let me tell you, I had a smile, somewhat of a smile on my face in that corner. I was getting punched with so many lights and rights and left, you know? Nick Nick was night, Nick was night, Nick was night. Here we go, and up, jump. The devil. <laughs> you know, you want to talk about someone who's turned their back on somebody, right? See, you need to understand something. You never turn your back on a rat dog. You never turn your back on a rattlesnake. Listen, you need to know something. You turned your back to me. Yeah, just like everybody else in SPW. You know, I've been the fan favorite, right? I come up there blazing saddles and I've got my guns all free and I'm trying to save the world till I found out that the world just ain't worth saving. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to know something about it, Nicholas Knight. You know, Kagi Vinton been around for a long time. Seen a lot of things. I went back down to Mississippi. Sat back and I understand something. 
that nobody's ever really been in the corner of Kyle Ving ever. No. I've always been in the aid of everybody else with SPW. I've always done everything by the book. I've always done everything I was supposed to do, but it all came down to the mere fact that it never did a damn thing for me. Yeah. I need to turn it back the way Kyle Ving used to be. Five years ago, when the Fire Phoenix arrived from the depths, and became something more than a mortal man. See, Nicholas Knight, everything comes full circle like Sarge said. And your days of wronging yourself will soon be over. <laughs> that might be, it might be a little better that he lost the match. But hey, at least I came out here and represented you guys strong, right? You yeah! You want to see a match between you and him right now. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Hey, Vincent, these fans want it. All I know is I got this robe open for you, brother, if you want to come down and show me the path to righteousness. <laughs> or he said to Let me tell you, I called him and left him voicemails. I texted him, John, okay? I was the one that was asking how he was, how his mindset was. He went to a scary place, and I was trying to bring him back into the light, if you want to call it. Right? So, hey, that's fine, Cargill Vinti. You want to turn your back on one of your longest friends in this business today? That's fine. I've seen guys like you come and go all around up New England. And when it all comes down to it, like I said, your name is all that we have today. And this name of Nicholas Knight will defend this championship night in and night out. And hey, Cargill, I'm ready when you are, if you aren't too afraid to show your face. Right, one socket! 